Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. Before talking about this movie, I'm going to talk briefly about the TV show. Although I'm talking about the original 90s show because I've talked pretty in depth about at least the first two episodes of the new series earlier in the year. I'm hoping sometime in the future to do an in-depth separate review of the actual TV show, but for now, I'll quickly go over a little bit about it. The show started off all about the murder of Laura Palmer, a high school girl who was loved by pretty much everyone in the town. Most of the first series was all about the police trying to hunt down the killer, as well as Laura's friends and lovers also trying to find out who killed her. But there was also a large amount about the weird lives of the other residents of Twin Peaks. There were exciting storylines, there were absolutely dull storylines, but I think the show was just fantastic. The weird tone and style of the show kept me watching even after the show started to completely lose what made it good during the second series. The show was created by David Lynch and writer Mark Frost. The show only ran for two years but was a huge success and is widely considered by many people to be one of the best and most influential TV shows ever made. However, later on in the show's run, CBS made them change a lot about what made the show so good. They made them double the length of the second series, wrap up the storyline of Laura Palmer halfway through it, and then focus the show almost entirely on the people of the town. The storylines became more and more uninteresting and ridiculous as the show progressed and everything that I think attracted people to it was completely lost. So many people got turned away from the show during the second series and the ratings sharply declined to the point where the show was taken off the air six episodes before its finale. However, due to a successful letter writing campaign, the final episodes were actually still aired. The series finale ended on a huge cliffhanger and didn't get resolved until 2017 recent third series. David Lynch and Mark Frost were very unhappy about the second series, especially with the fact that they had to reveal Laura Palmer's killer, which is something that they wanted to leave unanswered even after the show had finished. However, a year after the show finished, David Lynch decided to explore more into Laura Palmer's murder and all the things leading up to it, answering many questions that fans had during the show. And so we got the prequel movie, Twin Peaks Firewalk With Me. I'm just going to say right off the bat that if you're planning on watching Twin Peaks and haven't done so yet, don't watch this review yet and watch the show before because I cannot avoid talking about the shocking reveal of Laura Palmer's killer in this review. The film starts off with the murder of a young girl called Teresa Banks. Two FBI agents, Desmond and Stanley, played by Chris Isaac and Kiefer Sutherland, come in to investigate the murderer. They arrive in the small town of Deer Meadow to find clues. Of course, us as the audience know that the same person who killed Teresa Banks also killed Laura Palmer, and the killer left behind his signature calling card. While searching for clues, Desmond Desmond goes missing. We then go to Agent Dale Cooper, played once again by Carl McLaughlin, who goes to investigate the disappearance. After looking over the clues, he becomes certain that the killer will strike again. We then fast forward a year and go back to the town of Twin Peaks as we finally meet Laura Palmer. The rest of the movie is all about the last seven days of her life leading up to her murder. The movie is essentially a psychological horror movie. It's very different to the show, but at the same time, there are a lot of things that carry over. The tone of the first 25 minutes before we actually meet Laura Palmer feels very much like Twin Peaks. There are a lot of surreal moments that Twin Peaks fans will just love and we even get quite a lot of nods to the show throughout the movie too. But for the most part it's a very dark, disturbing movie that explores into the mind of Laura Palmer and lets us actually understand her firsthand as a person instead of just a person that we've heard talked about. I really liked this aspect of the movie. In the original TV show she was kind of a mystery and we never actually really got to know a lot about her. But in this film they show her first hand and somehow it makes the character even more strange and mysterious. About halfway into the movie we see Laura Palmer find out that Bob, the person who ends up killing her and killed Teresa Banks also, is actually her father Leland Palmer. Bob had come through her window most days since she was 12 years old and raped her, but she had always seen him as Bob, never as her father. After she finds out you really start to see her struggle and it gets even more disturbing to watch her deal with the horrificness of not only getting raped, but getting raped by a family member. It makes the film even deeper than it previously was. The film does a really good job of revealing information and answering some of the questions that we had during the original series. It makes some things that never made sense before 
finally make a lot more sense. The acting in the film is just fantastic. The original show's acting was kind of in the vein of a melodramatic soap opera, which was intentional and it worked in the context of the show. It made it a lot weirder, but in a way more intriguing than it would have been otherwise. The film does recapture some of that at times, but a lot of the time the acting is much more natural and realistic than in the show. Cheryl Lee, who plays Laura Palmer, is just fantastic in this film and gives possibly one of the best performances I've seen in a horror movie ever. She steals every scene she's in. Laura Flynn Boyle sadly didn't reprise her role as Donna Hayward and was replaced by Moira Kelly. Moira Kelly does do a good job and I thought she was a good replacement but for me it just didn't really seem right. Maybe it's because they look and sound completely different but something about it really didn't feel right. Due to the fact that this is a film and not a TV show like the original, they had no limitations and could really go all out of the violence and nudity. There isn't a whole lot of violence during the film, but when it is there, it's incredibly graphic. For me, I felt this really helped the tone of the film. Due to the fact that the tone was much darker and more serious, these additions made the film feel much more realistic and even more disturbing than otherwise. I do have some problems with the original cut of the film though. There are a couple of scenes that in this version of the film literally don't really serve a lot of purpose, but a lot of these scenes actually make sense when you add all the deleted scenes that were released on the recent Blu-ray releases. For example, David Bowie's scene, which originally made no sense, but with the missing pieces feature, they actually make a lot more sense and work in context with not just the film, but the story of Twin Peaks in general. But even still, there are a couple scenes that I don't think really needed to be in the film at all. For example, the Black Lodge scenes. Although they were interesting to see, I don't think they really worked in context with the rest of the movie. For me, they really slowed down the pace of the movie and seemed like David Lynch only put them there to kind of give people a little bit more closure. But I honestly think a lot of them didn't need to be there and would have been better if there were questions that were left unanswered. The film as a whole is incredibly disturbing at times, but I really, really liked this aspect. The film does a really good job of explaining the character of Laura Palmer and helping us understand things in the show that otherwise would have been a complete mystery. From the opening shot, the film tells you that it's going to be completely different to the TV show. And I think if you go into it, considering it to be a completely different entity to the original show, you'd probably have a much better time than you would if you expected it to be the exact same as the original TV series. Personally, I think this is one one of David Lynch's best movies. It may start off a little bit slow, but when it gets going, it becomes absolutely fantastic. I give Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me a 9.5 out of 10.